Hey, welcome back to part two. It's still May 24th. Yes, we're in the afternoon in UTC time and we're looking at this BTC chart and comparison with the line. Yeah, and guess what? There's another line to look at. So that's what part two is about. Because in part one, we forgot about part two. <laughs> so, so that's what happens when uh, things happen. And now we are looking at part two. So what did we do for part two? Well, <laughs> you remember part one here, the recap for part one was about the line that was, that was a resistance line <clears throat> all the way up here, okay? And it had been broken through a couple of times. Well, then the other question was, well, what about some supports? Let's see. So I didn't even count specifically these, but what ended up happening is this. This is what ended up happening as we unhide our drawing tools. Bang. So now we're looking at that blue line. Now it's not perfectly drawn and it's not exactly scientific, but you see, interestingly, I wasn't even caring about the this huge wake up here, but hey, it even ended up confluencing with the big support drop over here and then supports through here and then ended up even some sort of support action through here. And it's interesting how it funneled out of here towards the upside and has used both ends of these lines. Okay, now look, it's not like these lines were there existing before the chart. These lines are derived from the chart. Yes. So what are they for then? Okay. But what's interesting is that they do confluence. Like it's not like, it's, it's not like they are completely unrelated. They are able to, to be connected linearly. And this is a log chart and so, and I'm no expert. So all you friends of mathematicians, just uh, get some comments out there about some of this stuff. And PS, by the way, thanks again for liking whew, and commenting, okay, sharing, and A, subscribe, okay? B, continue watching, and C, see this thing progress here. Let's try and learn some things and find some interesting ideas. I don't know if we're gonna make it all the way down to, to this type of a line. If we do, it would be later on. Yeah, later on for sure. I can see us touching this blue line area as a supporting region, but not anywhere before. At, definitely, I don't feel like it before the, 20, the 2022. Oh, that would be a massive crash here though, but it could happen. Uh, but that would really, I like the low, the line is low. By 2022, we're at 14,000. So I don't think that's happening now. All right. I do think the green line is, is to be touched. We technically, let's say, and none of this is super technical. Uh, this is only loosely technical. Um, has not really even decided to hit it hard. Um, so let's uh, wait for that hit hard. So let's say September, this line is 125,000. Uh, June 21, 2021 is about 97,000. So we're, we're, you know, imagine July we could be hitting or September, sorry, we could be, uh, you know, just getting started in September to be breaking out from these previous highs. That makes more sense, you know, and then by let's say November, October, whatever, you could be hitting 150,000 level. I could definitely see this being another resistance because here's the other thought, and this is where part two might lead to never having a part three with, uh, with, with the green line being involved because as this is logarithmic chart, um, we might not keep pace with this green line. Okay, like for the first time that we were over it, it was a much bigger distance. The second time we were over it might not have been the same distance, although this is logarithmic. So basically what I'm saying is we might never get back over it again, although there is the chance and the hope that we will, and that would probably signal a bit more of a mania-ish type of a phase. I mean, if we're over here um, in 2022 and it's at the, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's tough. I don't know if we're ever getting over this green line, so. Enjoy it while it's here, you know. Our favorite actors and props and all of that, they, they come and go. They get recycled into other lines of other touch points and stuff, but our friend Green Line over here, uh, this might be one of the last shows that we ever witness, okay? 
All right, folks. But actually, I doubt it. We are going to be seeing part three because at some point I, I do see us touching it. So green line, come back, join us. Hopefully you're not too aged to be effective in your role. Maybe we'll just make you just some sort of uh, another, you know, like a <laughs> future character or something, whatever it is. All right. Yeah. We'll make you old and, and gray and withered. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, part two is done. Nothing really much to think about other than, you know, if you have anything to share, please put it in the comments. Look forward to the next one. Two, you, three, me, we're out. Bye for now, friends. <laughs>